Okay, this is episode 5 of my beginner blender tutorial. In the last episode, we finished the outer planets and used edit mode to edit the mesh of one of our objects. In this episode, we set the planets in their orbits and then tell the computer to animate them. Let's get to it. Alrighty. So here we are, we have our solar system, and what we want to do now is select the sun. And you're going to hit period on the keyboard, just to center up on that. And we need to uh, now move the 3D cursor to the center. So that's going to be shift S to bring up that menu. And we're going to go cursor to selected. So that'll align the 3D cursor to the, uh, to the center of the sun. That way anything we bring in is going to be aligned with it. So we're going to go to add. And then we're going to go down to Curve and choose Circle. All right, and so that's going to add this Bezier Circle. And just like with our meshes, we can do uh, a lot of the same kind of manipulations with curves. So hit S on the keyboard to scale. And then you move your mouse, and you're going to scale it up uh, until that circle intersects with Mercury. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make these orbits uh, slightly elliptical. Uh, because the orbits of the planets are actually ellipses, not circles. So we want to do that. So we're going to go to the Scale option. And then we're just going to take this here and just scale it in just a little bit. Let's hit 7 to go into the overhead view. Uh, I think that's pretty good uh, as far as an ellipse goes. So now we need to move it so that the sun is actually at one of the focal points. We don't have to get it exact, we just want to be just a little off-center like that, basically. Uh, that works nicely. And so, when we actually uh, uh, snap Mercury to this orbit, it doesn't really matter where it is. So, we can just leave it where it is right now. Uh, so, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first things first, save your progress. And now, what we want to do is we want to actually set Mercury onto the path of this orbit that we have created. So select Mercury, and you're gonna go down and you're gonna choose the constraints uh, options. Go up to add object constraint, and choose follow path. All right, and so now in the target, we're gonna to wanna to follow that curve. So let's rename the curve, double click on it, and we're gonna rename that to orbit Mercury. Great, so let's go back to Mercury, and now we're going to select Orbit Mercury from the target list. You can leave most of this stuff the same, but we're going to hit Follow Curve. And then what we want to do is we want to go up to the Item menu here, uh, click on that Item menu, and we want to zero out its location, which is then going to place our, uh, our planet actually on the path there. So next we click Animate Path, and now if we scrub through our footage like this by pulling this guy, we can see that Mercury orbits the Sun. Alright, so to go back to the first frame, you can hit this little skip button here, or you can just type 1 in this field and hit enter, it'll take you back. Let's go ahead and just stretch this up just a little bit so we can see the timeline a little bit better. That'll be handy uh, later. So, save. All right, so now we're gonna do, just do the exact same thing for all of the planets. Uh, we don't need to create a new one. We can just use the same uh, and scale it up since it's already all uh, elliptical and the sun is already at a focus point. So we can just go from here. This will work for what we need. Uh, so Shift D to duplicate, S to size intersect where we have Venus. So now we're going to change this to orbit Venus. Sweet. All right, so now we just do the same stuff. Uh, select Venus, add object constraint, follow path, target, orbit Venus. Follow curve, animate path. Uh, it says path is already animated, but uh, I always just go ahead and hit that just in case. Just in case. Uh, and then we want to zero out the location. And now do that for all of the planets. 
I'm going to speed up the video at this point. There's the sun. Okay. And so there's our solar system. Now, we do have a bit of an issue. So if we hit play, you can see that all of our planets go around their particular orbits uh, at the same speed. They all have the same period. Uh, that's wrong. We don't want them to do that. What we want them to do is actually go around. We want the ones in the middle to be zipping around and the ones on the outside to be lazily moving around in their orbits. So to change that, we actually change that on the curve path here. So select one of the orbits, and then go to this uh, uh, curve options right here, and you're gonna go down to path animation and you can set the number of frames that it takes for an object on that path to go around the path once. And so let's set Mercury to 50, and then we're gonna just go through each one and increase it a little bit. So we'll do 75, then we'll do 100, yeah, that's fine for Earth. Then say 125, Mars, and then Jupiter, We'll go like 200 and then Saturn will do like 250 or, yeah and then uh, Uranus will do like 350 and then for Neptune we'll do like 425 and then for Pluto where orbit Pluto will do 500. Okay, so now it's gonna take 500 frames for Pluto to go around once. So now if we hit play, now we can see, look, now they're moving at different speeds and it's a simulation of the solar system. So the outer planets are moving much slower than the inner planets and that's what we want. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. In the final episode, we are going to animate the camera and then render this bad boy out.